All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back here on the No Money Spent team, and it's been a little bit since the last video, but it's for a good reason. We have made a ton of progress since the last episode. In the last episode, we uh, hit level 75 bronze, and we were able to choose the 99 overall Clayton Kershaw out of that bronze pack, and uh, he was able to fill a very big hole in our team, and I wanted the next video, which would be this one, to be another kind of big step, and that would be hitting level 100 bronze or level 1 silver whichever one you want to look at and opening up that pack to get that 99 overall signature series card so we have made a ton of progress we hit that level so we have that pack sitting in our packs but we also did a lot more than just that and I think when I get to the packs and show you guys what we have to open you're gonna see just how much progress we have made with the no money spent squad and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I've done I'm gonna break it down step by step to show you guys how I've gotten to where we are and I want you guys to take a look at the squad right now because chances are at the end of this video this squad is going to look drastically different now than what it will finish so there is a choice I'm gonna make in this video that I don't know some of you guys might not think it's the smartest choice but I think for me and what I'm trying to accomplish with this team I think it's actually gonna be a, a pretty good one I think it's gonna make sense it might be a little bit costly but I think for the most part it will be a, a good choice so anyway let's go ahead and get into it first off um, not only did we get to level 100 silver, but we did also finish the third inning program. We got to 300 program stars, so we are going to be able to open up the third inning boss pack as well as level or the 200 program stars pack, which gives us another diamond. And there's just going to be a lot going on with that third inning program, and that is a lot of how we've gotten these packs and what we uh, have accomplished. So we did that. We got to the 300 program stars. We did. Uh, the 10 games in online play we did the conquest we did not do the voucher we did do all three sets of the moments and there's even more to these moments than just doing these for the program which we'll talk about later in this video and then a bunch of daily missions and then just playing the game stuff like that so we did make a lot of progress here in the program we have a ball and as a habit pack we got to open the third inning uh, choice pack for the bosses we got the third inning program choose one of four of diamonds all of that good type of stuff so that's going to be coming up later in the video also, let me show you what else we've done. So in the last ranked season, uh, as you guys can see up in the top corner of the screen or top middle, I guess, I'm 15 and 1 in ranked seasons with the No Money Spent Squad. I've been doing most of the gameplay over on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash kooks46. I find that's a good way to kind of split the series between both of the uh, the, the platforms that I use. And uh, so if you guys really want to watch a lot of the No Money Spent gameplay, that's where most of it's going to be. The videos are going to be mainly how I'm changing the team and how I'm building it based off what I've done over there, stuff like that. So that's a good way to follow it both ways. But um in the last season, we did finish in wild card. So I was close to finishing in division series, but I didn't quite get all the way up to 700. I just didn't have enough time by the end of the season to get those last few points. So we did finish in wild card. So I missed out on a little bit of XP, which kind of sucks. But at the end of the day, it's all good. So wild card is what we finished in. And we have that reward to open up as well as all the other rewards tied to rank seasons. This season, since I'm already an all star getting close to pennant race, I'm probably going to finish in a higher division so I'll probably finish I'll definitely finish at least in DS hopefully CS and World Series something like that we'll get there and get that reward pack as well um, but we'll just have to wait and see how that goes later on in the season so that's where we're at in rank seasons uh, as far as Battle Royale, really haven't made a ton of progress here. Haven't had any 12-0 runs or anything like that. I'm 4-0 with a squad right now. It's a pretty good squad. Uh, I was playing with it on Twitch the other day, so uh, we'll see how this one ends up. Maybe I'll go 12-0 and get a flawless, and that'll help even more. Um, now, another big thing that I've done is I've made a lot of progress on moments, and I showed you guys the moments for the third inning program back when we were talking about that. I have completed all three sets of these moments, right? So the first one with the bosses, this gave me 11,000 XP and 2,200 stubs with 2,500 bonus XP and a bonus 500 stubs. So that's a good chunk of stuff right there. Then for the second wave, the This Day in History ones, we got 7,000 XP with roughly 200 or 2,000 stubs. Then we got another 2,500 bonus XP. And then for the third one that just came out on Friday, the Dynasty Division set, we completed this set of moments, got 7,700 XP, 2,500 stubs, 1,000 bonus XP, and a set 10 headliners pack. This is the one that has Dustin Pedroia and... Um 
I forget who the other guy is, Larry Doby. So both of those guys are available in that set 10 headliners pack. Hopefully we get lucky when we open up packs later in this video and we can pull one of those guys out. Um, I also made some progress on the Sony Partners moments, the brand new ones that came out for Sporer. I did these on stream, 5,000 XP, 1,400 stubs, and we got the 90 overall future stars, Nick Senzel from the Cincinnati Reds. So he is now going to be on the squad as well. We'll see where he fits in later on. On as we continue to build the team. Uh, Shelfie, I've worked on his a little bit, but the 90 overall Cliff Lee really isn't that great. I mean, it's a nice free card to have, but I just haven't finished out the grind for him. He's not really on my top priority list right now because he's, even though I get him, it's not going to be like, oh my God, I got Cliff Lee. Like this is a, a lockdown guy to have in my rotation. So we'll get him when we get him. I'm sure I'll get him sooner rather than later. I just be kind of slacking on that. Um, Clutch, we already did that and stuff like that. And other than that, that's really only the moments I've done. I focused on the third inning and the Sony Partners ones. The tops now, I've you know I did some of them, but I'm not really planning on completing many Player of the Month sets, if any, on the No Money Spent account. So I'm not really too focused on getting these done. I mean, these are nice for stubs and XP and stuff, just a little bonus here and there. But for the most part, they're not really you know, extremely high on my priority list. So the tops now moments, I'm kind of not too worried about those right now. Um, but that's where I am with moments. Then we're going to go ahead and move over to events. Haven't done anything involving events, especially the silver and speed one. This D Gordon really just did not entice me and I just didn't really have the time to play this event. So maybe in the next one, we'll, we'll start playing more, maybe try to get some more 12 win runs instead of just focusing on the actual event run itself. Um, so we'll do that later. Uh, Conquest. Obviously, with Conquest, I completed the third inning one. I did all the goals in order to get the uh, the 30 program stars in the program, so we did that. That gave me some stubs, some XP, and some free packs and stuff like that. Uh, I still need to finish the Mother's Day one. This is more XP just sitting here that I just haven't done for some reason, so I gotta get that one done at some point. Um, but every other Conquest is completed except for the United States map. This is where I currently am. I did the Steel fans already, so I pretty much just gotta beat the board at this point. So we we should be able to get this done hopefully soon I mean it's pretty much when I have time I'll get this done I mean there's a bunch of stubs and a bunch of XP that sits here and then there's the 88 Ty Cobb as well which might be a good little bench bat for me um, at the end of the day I mean 117 110 on the contact 125 vision really don't want to use them for anything else but yeah so that's what I'm looking like as far as conquest and yeah so that's all the like the gameplay stuff that's where I have really made progress once again, this is the team. Joey Gallo did go up to the gold rating in the last roster update. Josh Donaldson is still in 82. Benito Santiago is my catcher right now. Uh, my bench still looks the same. I have the Nick Senzel sitting over here at shortstop right now, replacing Alan Trammell for me. And I really like Nick Senzel as far as his swing. He's actually hitting the ball really well. In his first game, he hit a home run for me, which was cool. Um, and then this is the rotation. Zach Greinke still in there with the high inside edge. Uh, the, the bullpen is all gold with a good amount of lefties and righties so it's all looking good um but I also want to show you guys something I did with some other stuff. So for collections, I did a lot of collections just to get like 10s and 20s and stuff like that. Um, but there's still a lot I haven't completed. So the Cincinnati Reds, I do have it all done now. So boom, I'm going to go ahead and complete the Reds. I have Joey Votto now at a gold. So I'm going to go ahead and complete them and get the stubs and XP out of that. Get that 87 overall Dave Parker. Boom. The Reds collection is completed. I also have a couple more to complete. I'm pretty sure um we've got the uh where are they the card no no the giants the giants should be done i should actually i need to get two guys here but i do have all the golds and stuff so let me go ahead and pick these guys up real quick all right we got all of the guys so now we can go ahead and collect the san francisco giants get another 3500 xp get this gold orlando cepeda not really too excited about this card it's just there with uh, the the collection getting completed and i believe that's all the collections i have to complete at the moment the dodgers have the diamonds Padres, Rockies, Cardinals, Brewers, Cubs. Yeah, that should be it as far as the collections I need. I also went ahead and went over to the created player missions over here or the created player program, I guess, or collections, whatever you want to call it. And I did a lot of these. These gave me a good amount of stubs. Um, there's still a handful that I have to complete. I just got to get a couple more silver second baseman and stuff like that. So or another gold catcher. We'll get that eventually, blah, 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 right? Um, so that's not going to be too big of an issue. And it gives me like 500 or 1,000 subs or something like that. So that's going to be nice. Just another handful 
handful of stubs to add um, and you guys can see I'm sitting at a hundred and thirty five thousand stubs just from doing all of this stuff I haven't bought any stubs I haven't uh, you know pretty much bought any big cards on the market or anything so these have just been piling up and we're gonna use a little bit of these stubs today and maybe not even a little bit it might be quite a chunk of these stubs for a specific collection you guys are gonna see what we're gonna do but first I need to show you guys all of the packs that I have because this is gonna make up a big chunk of the video boom first of all six standard packs right I have one of these I know was a login pack others came from like playing conquest and completing missions and stuff like that Ballin is a habit this came from the third inning program seven show packs similar to the standard packs completing moments completing uh, you know some stuff in the third inning program uh, you know conquest might have given me one or two of these I don't know none of these were bought on the show shop then we've got the wild card reward pack we got the spring training regular season all-star all of these rewards so we also got the set 10 headliners this came from that third set of the third third inning program uh, moments that was the I forget what they're called dynasty division so that's where that one came from this is three silver or bronze flashback or legend players that came from the XP path choose one exclusive gold flashback or legend pitcher I think that one's from the XP reward path as well we also got the gold live series player pretty sure that's from the XP reward path a couple gear up gold equipment items we got the choose one of five signature series players from the XP path the third inning boss pack the third inning one of four pack and then the third inning gold pack so these are all the packs we have to open up all just by playing the game grinding stuff out and not buying anything from the market or anything from the pack store so we're gonna go ahead and open up all these packs hopefully get a little bit lucky because that may help me later on in this video with the decision I want to make so so I'm gonna open up some of the boring ones first let's go open up the wild card or the spring training pack this should be like a bronze player or something like that right yeah Nick Goody all right, regular series or regular season reward pack. This will give me a silver. Jonathan Camargo or Johan Camargo, my apologies. Uh, we also got the all star reward pack, which includes the nameplate and then I think another silver player. Boom. Okay, Hector Neris. All good. And then we're going to go ahead and do, let's do the gear up choice packs, gold equipment items. All of these are going to just be whatever. We'll go ahead and take the new balance plus eight speed. If we do a creative player, we'll put those on for now. Uh, and then we'll open up the other one right here. Boom. We've got the Marucci bat, the glove, the rally, the face paints. Which one do I want here? Let's go ahead and do the... Let's do the, the Rally Mantis. Let's choose that one. Why not? Not really a big deal there. Um, let's go ahead and do the Choose Three Players pack. Let's see which silvers would be good. We got Chris Sale already. Let's go ahead and take... Uh, Let's take Jason Kendall, or I'm sorry, not Jason Kendall, uh, uh, JT Real Muto, and then let's go, let's go Fergie Jenkins. Let's go with those two silvers, and then the bronzes, we're going to go with, um, let's see, who do we want to take here? Let's go with Altuve, and oh, it's only one. I thought it was two bronzes. Never mind. All right, so those are the three cards we chose there. Those aren't really that exciting, so that's whatever. All right. Wild card reward pack choose one gold live series player and a wild card unlockable name play here We go anything good. Who's our gold player a hey, Glaber? He just went gold. So that's actually a W right there Oh, we got the wild card nameplate as well boom so that's what we got out of our ranked season rewards um let's go ahead and do anything that's a gold now so let's go ahead and do the gold live series player what live series gold do i not have uh looks like kirby yates so trevor bauer he does go for a lot but kirby yates is going for about 1500 stubs and i don't have him so boom we're gonna go ahead and choose him um we're gonna wait off on adding him to the bullpen We'll do that at a later time. Then we've got the exclusive gold flashback or legend pitcher. We've got, uh, I know we have Dennis Eckersley, Drew Smiley, Alex Cobb. What is this, A.J. Ramos? A.J. Ramos might not be too bad, to be honest. He's actually a pretty good reliever. We'll take A.J. Ramos. Screw it. He's going to be our gold that we take. So that's another guy to add or sell, depending on what we want to do with him. And then we are going to go ahead and do this gold pack because this is guaranteeing ourselves a gold as well. We got Tony Watson, Marco Estrada, Michael Taylor, Justin Smoke, and Hunter Strickland. I'm leaning towards Justin Smoke because he could be a really nice switch hitter off the bench. He probably wouldn't be starting for me, especially not over Gallo right now. Um, so I am leaning towards him. So I'm going to go ahead and take Justin Smoke right now. 
and he'll be on a bench bat. We'll figure that out later in the video. Then we've got this one, which is guaranteed diamond, guaranteed diamond, guaranteed diamond, high diamond chance, high diamond chance. So we're going to open up the standard packs next. Hopefully we get something good out of standard packs. Nothing in the first one. Some bronzes and stuff like that. Franco Park as the stadium. More standard packs. Are we getting anything good? Nope. Heath Filmmeyer. Never heard of you, buddy. So that's nothing there. Uh, silver Stadium. Silver Card. We got Jonathan VR. Hey, that's actually a pretty good silver to pull. He might be uh, worth a little bit of stubs right there. It said 481 off sell now. So that's not too bad. Uh, another bronze. Matt Duffy. Ty Buttery. Two more standard packs to open up here. Um, nothing, 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 nothing there. Bobby Wilson. And one more standard pack. We got a gold equipment. And nothing. Ryan Baruki from the Toronto Blue Jays. All right, so nothing in the standard packs. The show packs have a 1 in 50 odds. So we're going to open up these seven show packs, maybe get a little bit lucky right here. Come on, I would love to pull a diamond and just get a little bit lucky and have much more room to play with for the no money spent team. Another silver, we got Austin Meadows. He did just go silver. That's not a, that's not too bad of a pull right there. He kind of goes for a little bit as a silver as well. There we go, we got a gold. Who'd we get? Wilson Contreras, nice. That's a gold I don't have. That's that other catcher I was looking for. We just made about 500 subs off that for that catcher program, remember? I, was, I had uh, one of two gold catchers, so that's good. Keep those in the back of your head. Okay, that one was nothing. Three packs left. Another bronze, Clint Frazier. Two packs left of show packs. Come on, baby. Give me something. A silver. AJ Minter. That's not who I want. And one more. Here we go. The show pack. We are getting another bronze Oscar Hernandez. All right. So those packs are done. The ball in is a habit. Guarantees a gold but it has a 1 of 15 diamond player odd, and then the headliner has a 1 of 10, but it doesn't guarantee a goal. So let's go open up the ball and as a habit, then the headliner, then the three diamond packs we've got. So this is the ball and as a habit. We're guaranteed a gold, but we might get two. We got a silver and a gold. Dang it, man. I need to get a diamond out of these. We got this flashback Babe Ruth and then Matt Strom from the... Uh, San Diego Padres. Ugh, that's not who I wanted. All right, well, maybe the set 10 headliner will be a little bit different. Hopefully, we get Dustin Pedroia or Larry Doby. That would be friggin' sweet. Come on, baby. Give me somebody I want. Give me a diamond out of the headliner, please. Please. Oh, we actually did. We pulled a diamond. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yo, we just got so lucky. All right, please be Pedroia. Please be Doby. Either one of those guys, I'm selling 100%. All right, 140 home runs, 724 RBI, 806 OPS. This is Fenway. This is Dustin Pedroia. This has to be Dustin Pedroia, right? Either that or it's somebody like Mookie. It's a live series. I don't know how many home runs Mookie has. Come on. Come on. Bless me, game. Dustin Pedroia. 98 overall signature series. We pulled Pedroia. Let's freaking go, man. That helps so much. Oh, my God. That was out of the freaking, the, the, what's it called? The moments. That wasn't even bought on the market. This is literally 98 overall Dustin Pedroia, 64,000 sell now bought, or not bought, uh, just from the moment grinding. Oh, my God. That is so clutch. Oh, bros. He's getting sold, by the way. We're not using him. We're going to make stubs out of that. That's big time. Let's freaking go, baby. All right. Now we're going to open up the third inning one of four packs. So we got David Price, Zach Kozar, Brandon Morrow, or Reggie Jackson. I'm thinking Brandon Morrow, but I'm probably going to sell whoever I get out of this. Um, although I could use that Brandon Morrow. Uh... All right, screw it. I'm going to take Brandon Morrow. They're all about the same price. I'm going to take Morrow. If I want to sell him, I will, but I'm not too sure yet. He is a decent arm, though. All right, um, both of these are going to be a 99 overall card, so let's go ahead and choose who I want out of the third inning pack. We got Ricky, we got Verlander, and we got Alomar. They're all going to go for roughly the same price, so I'm going to go ahead and just take Ricky because he's who I chose, or I chose Alomar in the last one, and I'm going to sell Ricky as well. I'm not going to keep my third inning boss. I'm going to sell them and just try 
try to complete more, more, more collections. That's the goal here is just I want to complete as many collections as I can. So I am going to sell the Ricky Henderson and I am going to sell that Dustin Pedroia. I just made so many stubs. I'm freaking excited. All right. Now we get our 99 overall signature series from the XP reward path. So there's a bunch of different options I could go with. Frank Thomas would be good at first base, but I already have Gallo. Duke Snyder would be a good choice, but you know, why wouldn't, if, if I'm going to take Duke Snyder, why would I just not take Tony Gwynn, right? Brooks Robinson's good at third base, but Josh Donaldson has been killing it for me with the bat. I really don't need to take him right now. Joe Morgan, this is an interesting one. Joe Morgan, he's a second baseman. His bat's all right. Ah, this one's hard. All right, so I got to be honest with you guys. I don't know if my plan is changing right here. It's kind of weird. So I really had a plan to take Joe Morgan for second base. And I wanted to plug him in there, him kind of be my second baseman for a while, right? But with that new Nick Senzel card... He actually can play anywhere, and he's going to be a pretty good card no matter where I put him. And just with his swing already, I was really liking it. I don't know if I necessarily need to take Morgan right now. I'm thinking I may actually end up taking an outfielder between Tony Gwynn or Duke Snyder. All right, so I've been thinking, um, you know, for like nine minutes, I think. What is he at? Nine minutes and 12 seconds on this recording of what exactly I want to do here and which route I want to go with this signature series. <clears throat> I was going to go with Morgan, but I don't think I'm going to go with Morgan anymore because I'm going to just put Senzel at second base. Um, so I'm going to go with either Duke or Tony Gwynn. And I chose Tony Gwynn for my main account. And, you know, he I do think he's probably the best card right now in this pack. But I kind of want to give Duke Snyder a shot. I mean, I like the speed at 74. I like what he's able to bring to the table defensively. 85 fielding. I don't know. I kind of like Duke Snyder. I kind of think I want to give him a shot. Good vision, good power against both sides. He's good against righties. I think I'm going to give Duke Snyder a shot, boys. I'm going to go ahead and take Duke, put him in the outfield. I'm just... Ugh. Tony Gwynn, man, he's so good. I know how good he can be. I'm going to take Duke, though. I'm going to submit. Boom. Duke Snyder is my level 100 pick. All right, so those are all the packs I opened up, and my God, do we have a lot of stuff to do. Now... I'm going to tell you guys what exactly I'm going to use these big stubs for. So first off, I need to go to the market and I need to sell my Ricky Henderson because I'm not going to keep him. I'm going to sell him and make stubs out of it. So 81995 that is the price I'm going to sell him for. Boom, perfect. And then I also got to put up my Dustin Pedroia for 71999 Bro, I can't believe we pulled Pedroia. I'm so excited about that. That's so dope. Oh my god, that helps no money spent so much when you get a big diamond pull like that. Alright, so we went ahead and we sold those guys, or they're going to be sold. But we're also going to make a big investment right here. I'm going to go to my collections, and I'm going to show you guys the collection that I'm going to complete that's going to involve some diamonds. So the collection I'm looking to complete is the Cleveland Indians. I have 37 out of 40. Ricky Henderson just sold. Perfect. Just like that. He's gone. Um, I have 37 out of 40, and I really feel like I need a shortstop that can kind of lock down that position right now, and I guess Nick Senzel could kind of be the guy for me, but Francisco Lindor brings a lot to the table offensively. He's a beast. Um... And he's a switch hitter with diamond defense. He's so good over there. So I really want to get Lindor. Jose Ramirez is still good in the game, even though he's having a struggle this year at the plate offensively in real life. He's still a pretty good card in the game. And, you know, I might throw him on my bench or something like that. I'll probably put Kluber in my rotation just because he's better than some of the other righties I have. And then Kenny Lofton. You get Kenny Lofton, this 91 overall. And this is another guy I'm going to throw in my outfield. So I'm probably going to get rid of Adam Jones. And I told you guys. I'm sorry, not Adam Jones, Andrew Jones. My team is going to look vastly different than what it started like. So let's go ahead and put some buy orders in for these guys and try to go ahead and uh, complete this collection. So we're going to go ahead and try to put a buy order in for 21613 for Jose Ramirez. Boom, 21613, finalize order. We're going to do the same for Corey Kluber, 86 overall. He's going to be at 17021, so not too bad of an investment right there. 
Um, and then we're going to have to put in the big buy order for Francisco Lindor, hopefully our shortstop for a very long time to come. 55106 is going to be the price tag attached to him. So I'm going to go ahead and complete that collection. And depending on what sells and how quick things sell, we may also complete a different collection in this video. I don't 100% know if I'm going to do it yet, though. I might get cold feet on it. And Lindor completed. Boom, we got Lindor already. All right, so as we're waiting for some of those orders to go through, I'm going to go ahead and actually uh, change up my lineup a little bit. So we're going to move Mix Nick Senzel over to second base. He's going to be my second baseman now. We're going to take out Jonathan Scope, throw Francisco Lindor in there. Um, we're going to go ahead and take out Didi Gregorius, and we're going to put um, Justin Smoke as a switch hitter, so that'll be nice right there. Um, who else did I get? Uh, Duke Snyder. All right, Duke Snyder is going to go in the outfield. Whoops, that's Dave Parker, not Duke Snyder. Uh, Duke Snyder is going to go in the outfield. Boom, right there. I'm actually going to put him in left, I think. Or no, I'm going to put him in... Where do I want to put him? Maybe, do I want to keep Willie Mays in the outfield or do I want to keep Andrew Jones? I'm going to put Andrew Jones here at center field because he's got that big time power and that big defense. I'm really liking Adam Jones. And I think Griffey might actually be sent over to the bench and replaced with uh, Kenny Lofton because Kenny Lofton for me is uh, really good with the speed and, you know, the, the little quick contact bat. So I think that's what we're looking like at the moment. So we've got a couple different bench bats. Let's take a look at pitchers. Uh, Corey Kluber hasn't been picked up yet. Is there any other relievers I got that I can throw in here? Brandon Morrow, what do I want to do with this card? 92 velo, 87 break. I might hold on to him at the moment for now and put him in the bullpen just to get myself a better righty in there. I think I'm going to take out this Alex Colomay. I don't think he was very good for me. So we're going to throw Brandon Morrow in the bullpen. So we got a diamond in there now. Um, we should have another pack coming up soon at level 40, which isn't, I guess, soon, but soon enough that should get us Nolan Ryan or, or Trevor Hoffman, whichever we want to choose. So that's what the team is looking like at the moment. We're still waiting for a couple of these buy orders to go through. So I'm still waiting on Corey Kluber to be bought, but just for, you know, the sake of it, whatever, I don't really care. I'm going to go ahead and buy Gary Sanchez off the market. I was waiting for his price to go down a little bit, but I want him as my catcher, especially now that he's a gold. You know, Benito Sanchez. Santiago is nice, you know, he's got a little bit of speed, and he's got some pretty good contact and good fielding, but, like, I really want the power of Gary Sanchez, I mean, you can't say no to that, I mean, maybe you can right now with that inside edge, good lord, but I'm gonna put Gary as my starting catcher, I think I need him, but I'm gonna have Gallo at first base, I gotta have Gary behind the dish, gotta do it, and I'm still gonna rock with Donaldson at third base, I know I have Matt Chapman, and now Jose Ramirez, and Vlad Jr., like, I got a lot of guys who could play third base for me, but... You know, Chapman has that great defense, but I just really love Joey, or I'm sorry, Josh Donaldson's bat right now. He's got good arm strength at 71. I haven't had really many issues with him at all defensively for me. He's able to field pretty well. Like, I really just don't feel like I need an upgrade at third base right now like I did for second base. And even Jonathan Scope, I can put him at second, um or on the bench with his bat. Where did he go? Where's Jonathan Scope? What overall is he? 82? His bat is too good to leave off. I think I need him off the bench. Um, so, you know, the lineup is looking pretty good. The rotation is looking solid again. Um, all of these cards are looking really, really good. I'm literally just waiting on Corey Kluber to be bought right now, and then I can add Kenny Lofton in here. All right, so my order for Corey Kluber just went through. Hell yeah. The Cleveland Indians are going to be collected. Jose Ramirez, Corey Kluber, Francisco Lindor, boom, my first major collection, and in my personal opinion, the best individual team collection in the entire uh, MLB. But I've been holding back on you guys. Not only am I completing this collection, am I getting Kenny Lofton, which we'll do right now. Boom. 40 out of 40. Kenny Lofton now on the squad. We're going to throw him in left field. Perfect. Feels good. We also now have the entire American League Central collected, and we get 90 overall. 
Harmon Killebrew. So I've been saying this whole episode that like I kind of like what Josh Donaldson is bringing to the table. I don't know, man. Harmon Killebrew might have to get the start with those stats. So we got Kenny Lofton over there at third base. Duke's or Kenny Lofton over there in left field. Duke Snyder over and right with Andrew Jones at uh, center. Josh Donaldson. Are we gonna put Harmon Killebrew in for Josh Donaldson? Harmon Killebrew has got the vision, the power. The he's got even better speed than Donaldson. Donaldson just has a little bit better as uh, fielding stats. Plus 10 on the fielding and plus 9 on the reaction. I'm going to give Harmon Killebrew a go, though, just because that bat is so big. Killebrew, to me, is a little bit more of a BR type of card, but overall, he's still really, really good. So, um, I'm going to actually take just or Jonathan Scope out, and I'm actually going to put Josh Donaldson on the bench and have a bench bat that could play third base for me because Justin Smoke is my other guy. Matt Olson is my true lefty on the bench right now. So yeah, this is what the lineup is looking like. So let me go ahead and set the team. Kenny Lofton in the leadoff spot, obviously. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and go with Nick Senzel. Then we're going to go with Joey Gallo. Or actually, we'll go with Duke Snyder. Then Harmon Kilbrew. Then Gallo. Then Andrew Jones. Then Lindor. And then Sanchez. Oh my goodness. Look at that freaking squad, man. Then we got to go ahead and take Barrios out of here. Barrios has been kind of kind of an L for me um, as far as a starting pitcher. So we're going to go ahead and take him out of there. We're going to put Corey Kluber in the two spot right behind 99 Kershaw. And then the rest of the team, pretty much not much different there. We've still got the same guys. And yeah, this is what the squad is now looking like. I told you guys this squad was going to look a lot different at the end of the video than when it started. We've got Lofton and Duke Snyder in the outfield with Lindor, Killebrew, and Nick Senzel in the infield. We also picked up Gary Sanchez. We got a new bullpen arm with Brandon Morrow, a new rotation arm with Corey Kluber, and we pulled two friggin' diamonds. We got, well, not really pulled. We, we pulled one diamond, um... Dustin Pedroia, and then we sold our Ricky Henderson for even more stubs that Dustin Pedroia still hasn't even sold yet. We're going to be sitting at about 200k when he does eventually sell. I think I got undercut already, so I got to put the right price on there. But yeah, guys, this team is looking really, really good. We're making a lot of progress. We'll definitely be able to probably do another collection at the end of the next video, whenever that one is. I don't know when the next video is going to be as far as where I want to lean. Um, I could get to like level 20 in the XP reward path and get this diamond pack, but maybe that at that point it's just going to be me completing like another collection probably so we'll see I'm not too sure when the next one is going to be and what the next one will be all about I could wait till I get to level 40 but that's going to be a lot but we'll just have to wait and see I'm not too uh, too worried about it right now. I like how much progress we've made in this video. Literally only two uh, guys in the lineup are not diamonds. Joey Gallo and Gary Sanchez. And let's be real, Gallo already plays like a diamond. Gary Sanchez is insane behind the dish with that power. Overall, this team is looking really good. So down in the comments, let me guys, or, or I guess I could say let me know what you want me to do, but I guess this series is more like me trying to show you guys how you can have a good team. Um, but I'm not too sure what exactly I want to do next. Um, I feel like I still need to upgrade my rotation and my bullpen more because those are pretty much mainly gold uh, with a handful of diamonds thrown in there. So that's probably the next thing I'll do. My lineup should be set for a good amount of time, and I really like where I am with it. So yeah, we'll have to see how that goes. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the No Money Spent video, please hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new to keep up with the rest of the series. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. I will see you in the next one. Peace.